Hi, it's Casey D. You're watching Why Tell Me Why. This week, David Hamill would like to find out why if your body temperature is an average of 98.6 degrees, why isn't that the most comfortable temperature for you to be in? Here's your answer. If our body temperature is 98.6, why is it that if it's 98.6 outside, we feel hot when it should be the same temperature as us? Warm-blooded animals like people or dogs or cats generate a lot of heat, and we have to get rid of this heat as fast as it is produced for us. We're going to become uncomfortably warm. The easiest way to get rid of that heat is to be in a room or a place where the temperature is cooler than we are, and then the heat just flows from us into the environment. So because we generate so much heat, the air has to be much cooler than we are for us not to feel comfortable, which is why it becomes very uncomfortable when the temperature isn't cool. A thermal gradient simply means the difference in temperature between two places. So if one place is warm and one place is cool, then there's a thermal gradient, which means that heat can flow from a warm place to a cool place. When the air temperature is 98.6 and we are 98.6, well, of course, then there's no thermal gradient and we have to do something different to cool off. And that something is to evaporate moisture. Usually the way to get moisture on the skin is to sweat. And it's not the sweating that cools us, but the evaporation of the sweat that cools us. Thanks for watching Why Tell Me Why. Any science-related questions you have, email me at whytellmewhy at discovery.com. Hi, we're the Discovery News video team, and we want your videos. Your science videos, to be exact. So if you're a student doing experiments at home, or a researcher in the field. And if you have a camera, you then capture those experiments and upload them to our website. It's pretty easy. Here's how you do it. Just go to this website below, dfc.discovery.com slash news slash sidewalk science. And if they get our Bunsen's burning, we will put them online and you will be recognized for the mad genius you really are. That's all I have to say.